Hello, Ophiuchus people. We have the Ophiuchus snakey here for you today. Um, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing the readings for October 2023. We are using the absolutely gorgeous Unifying Consciousness Tarot by Lori Lytle and Leo Scopacasa. And uh, we are using, did I say that whole word? I see, feel like my voice gave out on the last name. By Lori Lytle and Leo Scopacasa. La la la. So <laughs> there we are. Uh, honor paid. So beautiful, beautiful tarot deck. Like you're not going to believe it. You're going to freak out. So <laughs> we're going to be using that and we're going to be using the Elder Futhark on Willow Wood. So it's the Willow Runes today. So let's see a card to start with from the Unifying Consciousness Tarot. And we have the Eight of Swords. So this month, Ophiuchus people, you're going to feel like there's like, you're going to feel a bit anxious. You're going to feel like there's danger around, but you can't see it. But you just feel like you never know when it's going to, you're going to back into it. And it's just, it's not going to be very comfortable. You're going to be a bit worried about that. <clears throat> you do feel somewhat protected, like in a gilded cage kind of protected, but you do sort of have this anxiety happening where you feel like, first of all, like, I feel like I can't make this fit on the page. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. There, that'll do. Poor snaky. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit anxious this month. Let's see if the runes can offer any solace, which I am sure they will because they tend to do that. So, central issue, yes. So, you know what's funny about this rune set? I'll tell you. The Sovilo has what looks like a reversal. <laughs> so maybe I will incorporate that. I will read that with a reversal um, as I read this reading. I'll read it straight, and then I'll also read it as though this was a reversed Sovilo as well, because it'll be neat. It'll be neat, Ophiuchus people. So our central issue here this month is Sovilo. So Sovilo is the run of the sun. This has to do with um, your source energy, but also illumination, uh, warmth, life, uh, <laughs> rejuvenation, all the good stuff, like what the sun brings. And so you're going to be focusing on that. You're looking for the sun, basically. You're, if you're in a state of anxiety, you're going to be looking for your source energy. You're going to be looking for the sun. You're going to be looking for the sun to shine again. This also looks reversed to me. Um, this is the... This is Sovilo. This is a reversal. Although this is not... Whenever there's a horizontal line in the middle of Sovilo... I mean, I can still read it as Sovilo, but originally Sovilo, according to the Calverstone, is a squiggle, and mostly runes didn't have horizontal lines because you were carving it into wood, and if you used a horizontal line, okay, if you're carving it into wood with the grain like that, and you used a horizontal line, that line's going to vanish, so... Anyway, most of people will use the Sovilo looking like this, so I'm not going to complain. But I'm just saying it's like, anyway, this has allowed this to have a reversal. And because the, they've made the top bit shorter than the bottom bit. So you're actually not only looking for the sun, but you're looking for the sun within, your own personal sun, your source energy that you get, your energy from within. Um, so that's my extra read on that. So that's what this month is going to be about. You're sort of seeking the sun to try to, because you're dealing with a lot of anxiety, and it's 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 been a long time. Leading up to this, we have Ivaz, which is the rune of um, the yew tree, so it's patience, slow growth, slow development, step by step. Um, it's been a long time getting to this point, and I feel like maybe you've been carrying a lot of this anxiety around you. Even if you couldn't see it, you've, you've sort of taken this step by step and gotten to this point where you're like, I have to find the sun. I have to find the sun outside and I have to find the sun inside. And I have to tap into the source energy so I'm not going to feel so anxious anymore. So what's going to help you? Immediately um, connect with heart. We have Lagus, which is the rune of emotion, intuition, and heart. It's the, it's water. It's all the leaves, all the leaves happening. Um, it's the flow. And it's, it's emotion, intuition, heart, it's emotions, it's all that watery stuff. So number one, connect with heart. Listen to your heart. I know it sounds corny, but when you do it, you'll be like, oh, that's why everybody says it. Yes, do that. Um, connect with heart. Listen to your heart. Your heart is going to be very, very true for you. Um, listen to what it's telling you you need. You may have to listen, listen, but listen. Um, the other thing is let your emotions flow. Um, don't, if you're anxious, don't cling to the anxious. Let the anxious be like a storm that is passing through you. You aren't anxious. Don't identify as it. You are having some anxious. You notice that you are feeling anxiety. And you're going to let that feeling be a, a weather 
system that is passing through and let that flow through because that's what emotions are. They are weather and let the weather happen. Let it flow through. Let's let, let it just flow. <laughs> that's what's going to help you is connect to heart let your let your emotions just flow and just just ride on that what isn't going to help you is we have now these reversed and this really calls back to this feeling of anxiety when you are feeling anxious and when you have anxiety it feels like everything is an emergency all the time even if you can't see it it's like it's like um i heard somebody talking about you know the the uh, the anxiety it feels like the, the, you know we have this so that we can it can protect us from the lion but there's no lion and you feel this even if there isn't any lion so you feel like there's a lion and that's really un unpleasant this is there for you you've, you've carried this for a while so if this starts to be the case just bring yourself back up to where you are a connecting with heart your center your heart center and and listening to what that is saying and also letting the emotions flow remembering that emotions are weather and letting the weather go on its way you know the weather isn't going to be in the same the, the same all the time in the same place so let it flow and that is going to lead you to a fresh start by the end of the month um with seeking you know, the light and letting your emotion flow and connecting with heart, as you move through the month, you're gonna get closer and closer to this. By the end of the month, you're gonna feel like I'm having a fresh start. The world is new. I have a blank page. I can do what I can do. And I feel like I've connected with the sun now. And I feel like I can see, at the very least, I can see the swords now. And there maybe aren't as many as I thought there were. And I maybe am more protected from them than I thought I was. And I am connected with my source energy and with source energy from within and source energy from without. And that is good. So I wish you, that's your reading, Ophiuchus, for... <laughs> October 2023. I wish you all the best with this and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Bye, says the Ophiuchus snakey.